in a volatile world of uncertainty, with regional instability, ethnic and religious strife, terrorism, injustice, and danger. Every soldier in today's army is important. But now, more than ever, world situations need special responses, special operations with highly trained soldiers, special forces, the most physically fit, the most highly trained, the Green Berets. These soldiers understand the struggle at hand. They combine political, economic, and civil actions with skilled military efforts in the execution of their mission. Soldiers who want to play a part in shaping world history. Special Forces trace their roots to World War II's first Special Service Force, which earned its reputation on daring missions in Italy and southern France. The Green Berets owe much of its tradition to the Office of Strategic Services, better known as the OSS during World War II. These brave men parachuted behind enemy lines to help pave the way for an Allied victory, gathering intelligence, performing unilateral operations, and providing aid to resistance movements. Special Forces adopted the now familiar headgear from British commandos whom the OSS troops worked with during World War II. Later, the distinctive Green Beret was officially authorized by President John F. Kennedy. Modern history has borne witness to what a select, highly trained, motivated, mature, and equipped small group of men can do in the fight for freedom. In Vietnam, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, Iraq, Afghanistan. And the fight for freedom continues to this day in virtually every corner of the world. The way in which the battle is waged separates the special forces from the rest of the army. As a member of today's modern special forces, you will be part of an elite 12-man team with a real-world mission. A-teams, tight-knit, trained to strike hard and fast as lightning, sometimes deep inside enemy territory. Unique force multipliers, missions unlike any in the conventional army. Diplomat, doctor, defender, and always an ambassador of U.S. goodwill. Trained in guerrilla warfare, sabotage, counterterrorism, special reconnaissance. Teams are prepared to operate in all types of environments from urban jungles to the jungles of South America, infiltrating enemy territories by air, land, and water, using all types of weapons, from the most basic to the most advanced. The skills you learn will support the Special Forces missions of direct action, foreign internal defense, special reconnaissance, unconventional warfare, and counterterrorism. Of course, not all missions are combat related. You may be involved in civic projects in foreign countries, building schools and hospitals, conducting illegal drug enforcement training, or training ethnic forces in modern warfare. In fact, a primary mission of the Special Forces involves teaching skills to foreign forces to combat threats. Heart and soul of Special Forces is the Operational Detachment Alpha. Twelve men composed of the Detachment Commander, 18 Alpha, a captain responsible for the planning and leading of the mission, a warrant officer, 180 Alpha, assistant detachment commander and second in command. A master sergeant is the team's operations sergeant, or 18 Zulu. The operations and intelligence sergeant, MOS 18 Foxtrot, a senior sergeant first class. Two 18 Bravo weapons sergeants, experts in U.S. and foreign light and heavy weapons, small unit tactics, and combined arms fire control planning. Two 18 Charlie Engineer Sergeants, experts in demolitions, basic construction, and force protection. Two 18 Delta Medical Sergeants, trained in combat trauma management, advanced medical treatment, and basic surgical procedures and two 18 Echo communication sergeants, experts in radio and communications. 12 special men, dedicated, determined, devoted to a job, making a difference. What kind of men wear the Green Beret? Mature, competent, tough men. The quiet professionals, resourceful team players, 
who can be counted on under the most adverse conditions, men who uphold the highest moral and ethical standards, but most of all, men who are committed to succeed in any mission. Tradition, heritage, and history are all made by special men, and special men have always made up the Special Forces.